what's going on guys? Fox the Gamer here. Today we're going to be playing some more Modern Warfare 2. And I'm back uh, doing the next round. And uh, I've been practicing a little bit more. It's actually been three rounds since my last video. I am... Did make this pretty... One second guys. Oh boy. So anyway, um, this video is just going to be some gameplay of quick scoping. So you guys, I think you guys can uh, get a little more used to it. Now, right now, I changed my class. I got rid of stopping power and put something else I forgot. So you guys can see kind of the effects of what happens if you don't really have stopping power. For instance, I just shot that other sniper, but he killed me because he had stopping power and I did not. Bullets do not do as much damage with stopping power. Now, you don't require stopping power pro, but I would say uh, stopping power is really all you need. But I would say you're going to need sleight of hand uh, pro. It's going to be the one you really need. So work towards that goal. Gotta get rid of that grenade. For instance, right there. Imagine how much damage I could have done with stopping power. You would have completely wrecked him. So that's my point on that stopping power. Uh, how it's an important thing to have if you want to quick scope. But I think the most important thing is to have steady aim. Now I think that's the most important because you. Um, because you can aim faster, and if you have steady aim pro, or I forgot what it's called, uh, aim pro, whatever, if you have that, it actually makes you hold your breath longer, which is what you need for, to set up traps for your enemies and stuff like that. You're really gonna need it, uh, I know I set up a trap every now and then, and they walk right into it. So you wanna have that on you, uh, most of the time. Now this is not my preferred map for uh, quick scoping, but I do do it every now and then uh, because it does help a lot with trying to get a new environment for your quick scoping. Oh boy! All right. Now I have, I do have to tell you guys, sometimes you come face to face with another sniper and since you're both sniping class, uh, you'll kind of, he'll switch to his melee, to a secondary and you'll melee him. That's what you want to get to do every single time. When you come face to face, to face with a sniper, most of the time, you want to try to melee him because he'll switch to a secondary and that's your goal. It's kind of what you want to do. But sometimes you just don't have the time to do it. And I understand that. But most of the time you want to try to do that. Now right there guys, if you saw that where uh, they meleeed me, yeah, you want to try to quick scope instead of letting them melee you or you trying to melee them back. It's a bad idea, I'm just going to say that off from the start. When there's multiple enemies and you're a sniper class, you don't want to try to melee them. It's just a really suckish idea. And I know a lot of you are like, what? That's not very true. And, well, it, it actually is. It's best to try to no-scope them rather to uh, try to kill them directly by melee. By melee-ing them. Sorry, guys. Oh, man.
Yeah, so I think that's about it for this episode of Learning the Quick Scope. I will be doing more episodes for you guys because it was uh, a lot of people wanted me to do it. So yeah, you guys stay tuned for that. And there we go. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this little part two video to uh, tell you guys a little more about quick scoping, what it is, and how to get better at it. And I'll see you guys next time.